So you've got your YouTube channel all set up and ready to go. You've done a few videos here and there, but you want to step up your game just a little bit here. Um, it's kind of where I was at. Um, I wanted to do some basically studio shots and I didn't have a studio. Um, I could take, take, take things outside and do things out there if I really wanted to, but then I've got background noises, cars going by, people walking by and making stupid comments because that's what people do. And uh, um, I, just, I just didn't want to do that. So I'm thinking to myself, I really need a home studio. So if, if you find yourself in this position, here's kind of what we did. So how do I turn this into this? Or this? Or maybe even this? Left hand doesn't work so well. So stick around. Check out how we did it. Okay, so here is the room we are working with. It is a uh, basically a ten and a half by ten and a half foot bedroom uh, that I have converted to a uh, home gym. And as you can see. The doors are off of the closet here, and uh, um, I got my, my dumbbells and things in the closet. So, um, what I did, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I can use this room as a home studio. And I'm looking at this wall, and, and if I stand back this way where the thing, or the, where the camera would be, um, Obviously, the uh, the rack is in the way, and if I do something this way, the rack is in the way. So I was just sitting here turning circles and turning circles, trying to figure out what to do, and then I look at this wall right here. If the doors were on there, obviously you can't do anything in front of it anyway, so uh, it's basically just a wall. Um, if I close this door. I close that door I basically have the whole wall now if I were to just put a drop backdrop right there and the camera right here or wherever it needs to be to make it red that would solve my problems so today's project is going to be installing a backdrop over this over this wall here or over the closet where I have everything stored and then I can just push the backdrop off to the side to the left here and it'll all be hidden behind the door when we're in here working out. And so I ordered this backdrop kit off of Amazon. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the pole, the upright poles, have quite a large footprint and they still don't really do exactly what I want to do. But this would certainly, I can use this anywhere basically. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is actually put the top rod, I'm going to use this top rod, and I'm going to just put some um, curtain rod holders there and over here and extend the thing all the way across and then I can just push it all out of the way. I'm going to be using this green screen. Uh, which I also got off of Amazon and uh, then I can have whatever I want for a background. So let's get busy setting all of this up.
when the time comes, there we go. When it's time to work out, we just take this. Slide it all back out of the way. And we got a jimmy. So I appreciate you coming back and checking out this little project with me. Um, this was kind of fun, didn't take very long to do it. I think maybe I've got about $50 invested in it maybe. I'm probably gonna have to uh, invest in some better lighting here because right now, um, I've got a ceiling fan and uh, um, a LED light off in the corner. It seems to be doing all right, but it is casting some shadows. So um, we still got some improvements to do, but uh, this will at least get me up and running for a little bit here. And uh, I appreciate you coming back and watching me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for something new. Thanks for watching.